Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Kelly from Anima. So in this video, I wanna show you guys how to use Anima's Smart Layers. Smart Layers are Anima's features for high fidelity prototyping to allow you to create prototypes that look and feel like the real thing. And so these features include embedding video, GIF, or Lottie. You can create real life forms with text input and submit buttons, and you can add some animations and hover effects. So what we're going to do first is we're going to embed a video into the design. And so all you need to do is select the layer that you want to embed the video on. This right here is a rectangle. This is like a screenshot from the video itself. What I'm going to do now is go into my Anima project and go into the settings right up here. And from the settings, you can upload your own video files from your local drive. So I'm going to go ahead and add the video that I want to embed and upload it. Once that's finished uploading, it will give you a URL that you can then post into your project. So I'm going to click on this copy URL and let's go back to XD. So I have the layer selected. I'm just going to go into the video GIF Lottie, click the plus icon. I'm going to paste that into the bar and then select some settings for like the actual video. So I want to cover fill, no controls, autoplay and loop. So all of them basically. <laughs> go ahead and save that and then we're just gonna see how that looks as it is. I like to preview as I go, um, but if you prefer to kind of get everything in there and then preview, um, whatever works for you. All right, let's go ahead and check out how it looks. Awesome, so no control, it's auto-played, um, and everything looks really good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and sync that to my project just to make sure it's all saved. And then I'm gonna head back to XD and add some more smart layers. So the next thing that I want to do is I want to add a hover effect to this like icon. All you need to do is select the icon, head over to the smart layers and click hover effect. I want it to grow. You can change some of the CSS settings um, just right down here or you can just use the preset ones like I'm going to do and click save. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to create a text input field. So all you need to do, I have the search bar right here with the text layer search. I'm going to select the text layer. As you can see, I already have it entered in, but all you need to do is click on the plus icon. Um, you'll have the option to choose from a submit button or a text input. We want this to be a text input. And then you'll be able to select what kind of placeholders you want, if any. And that's that. So let's go ahead and preview how that looks. We're looking for a hover on the heart. It's got like a small transform and then the text layer here. So those are just some of the cool smart layer features that you could use. Um, I'll see you next time when we're ready to preview and sync our design.